This is the imbecilic moronicness of Jimmy Haslam 101. Let's look at the facts. You have a quarterback who struggled mightily in his second season because you allowed some jackass to hire a puppet because he wanted someone that he can control. You allowed it to happen. Now you have a chance to rectify that. You have a head coach coming in to coach this team that wanted to draft Mayfield. Second, they wanted to trade up with the Giants to get him from New England. When Bill Belichick gives you the authority to make a trade up the whatever, to get when they give you the authority to go after Baker Mayfield, it tells you something. So you have a coach that came in here who wants he wants the job, he wants to work with Baker Mayfield, and for all intents purposes, or whatever, I don't even know if that's the right way I said it, but whatever. You know damn well. Baker will take off under the tutelage and guidance of one Josh McNamara Daniels. But you decide, you know what? You also decided to bring Stefanski in for a second interview, which was fucking stupid. What's changed since last year? I'll tell you what's changed. Deep Podesta is probably like, we got to interview him. We got to interview him. Then after the interview, he's like, can I tell you what, Bill? Did you see him? Did you see him? You get rid of that analytic dweeb. He's a, well, you know, you can keep him. But he has no business on who you hire. He has no business on the players. He should have nothing involved in anything with the management, anything with the players, nothing. Analytics, that's fine. But nothing with who you hire, nothing with who you pick. But anyway, what more do you need to know about Josh McDaniels? You have a quarterback that needs Josh McDaniels. Why are you bringing in Brian Dayball? Look at Josh uh, Allen. Does that look like a quarterback that took off in his second year? Some would argue his numbers are worse than the second year. Why would you bring in him? I don't get it. Why? Stupidest thing. You have a man that you brought in for your last interview who's perfect for Mayfield. And you wanted to sleep on it. Meanwhile, his assistant coaches that he was probably, that coaches linked to him are taking jobs elsewhere. What's that tell you? If I'm Josh McDaniels, you know what I say to you now? He brought his wife here. Think about this. He brought his wife here with the anticipation of getting offered the job that day. And he probably was like, you know what? I'm going to go visit my family down the street here and uh, wherever the fuck it is, right down the street from Cleveland. That's probably what he probably what he was thinking. But no, you didn't offer him the job, did you? <laughs> if I'm Josh McDaniels now and you offer him the job, you know what I say? Yeah, you should have offered it to me yesterday. Now my staff's people I want to hire elsewhere. You fucked up, Jimmy Haslam. You let some fucking analytic nerd talk you into... Given Stefanski a look, and I'm going to tell you something. If you hired Kevin Stefanski, I don't care who you hire. I don't want Stefanski, and I don't want Dabo. I don't even know how the name, two names are linked. If you look at Kirk Daniel Cousins, since he's been in Minnesota, it's the same thing he's been in Washington. There's nothing spectacular about him. And if you watch Minnesota's game plan last week, it was horrendous. It was horrendous. The only reason they beat the Saints because the Saints beat themselves. Think about it. Um, I have no problem if you want to hire Eric Bieniemy. No problem at all. I have no problem if you want to hire Robert Sala. No problem at all. I also have no problem if you want to hire Jim Schwartz. No problem at all. But there are two names out there that you cannot even seriously entertain the thought of hiring. And that's Kevin Stefanski. For some reason, that guy does not belong in Cleveland. And Brian Dayball. No. No. If it was me, it's a no-brainer. I go Josh Mc, uh, McDaniels. And if it's not him, then you have a choice. Eric Bieniemy is a good choice. So is Jim Schwartz. And uh, Robert Sala, is, he's just a wild card. Who knows what he can do? But you have a quarterback that needs help. And you have a guy that not only wanted him, who was prepared to move up in the draft to draft him. And you let him walk out that door. You are a dumbass, Jimmy Haslam. And you, I wish you'd sell the team to somebody that knows football. Because you apparently have no business or no clue on how to run an organization. If you hire Kevin Stefanski, we're going to be in for the same thing after next year. And and you can tell the players they want me. Hey, oh, your your star receivers, they want uh, they want McDaniel's. Trust me, they know what his offense. See, they know what his offense can do. You have star receivers. You have elite talent at the wide receiver wide receiver position and running back position, and you also have talent at the tight end position. For some reason, he wasn't, um, and Joku was benched last year, but you have elite talent at the uh, key positions on offense, and they want to play for McDaniels. And for some reason, you had to sleep on it? <laughs> I hope McDaniels turns you down. I really do. If I was McDaniels, I'd say, you know what? Fuck this clown. Should offer me the job. Look what the, uh, the Dallas Cowboys did. They knew they wanted Mike McCarthy. They didn't want to give him a risk. They didn't want to take a risk of him going somewhere else. So they hired him. 
They did. They hired him. And you know Josh McDaniels wants this job. His background tells you he's been with Belichick. He knows how a great organization is run, and you're sleeping on it. <laughs> Cleveland Browns are in disarray right now. This was a no-brainer. No-brainer. And I have a feeling that Paul DiPlopesta, whose contract's up in a couple weeks anyway, is in Haslam's air. And because he didn't get his way last year. He's like, Jimmy, I want you, fish key. I want him. This motherfucker ain't even in Cleveland. He's in fucking San Diego. Why the fuck are you listening to this clown? Jimmy Haslam, you're a buffoon. You're a clown. You and your wife are both idiots. You had a chance to hire McDaniels on the spot yesterday. And I'm telling you right now, the Cleveland Browns fan base would have been very happy. Very happy. Instead, I fear you're going to hire Stefanski. And the shit's going to hit the fan because nobody wants him. I don't see any evidence in Minnesota that he could run this. No. Do you see any evidence that he's the right guy for Baker Mayfield? You have an offensive genius in McDaniels. Sure. He had a bad record in Denver, but that was what? He was 33 years old trying to run everything. He was trying to do what McVay did now back in the day when it was just harder. It was unthinkable back. It was unthinkable back in the day. I don't even think Belichick did it that when he was that young, or even ten years ago. Whatever. But you fucked up royally here, Jimmy. And this is the, and as a Browns fan, I'm telling you, I already hate the Kellers. Brown and Orange are pathetic. I wish you would have fucking. I wish when the Browns moved, they would have took that stupid name and made them the Baltimore Browns. You cannot wear anything resembling a Cleveland Brown. The uniforms are ugly. It looks like I'm looking for a reason to leave, and I'm a diehard Browns fan. I go back from '79. When my faggot father took me to a fucking Washington Redskins Browns game because I like the Brown I like the Redskins, and for some dumbass reason I started liking the Red, uh, the Browns after they beat the Reds the Browns to beat the Browns thirteen to nine at Cleveland, and I don't know why I chose to like the Browns after that I don't know why, but it was a bad move. So now I'm stuck with this team, this organization that is just a fucking disarray year after year, and I want to make a change. I really don't want to make a change because I stuck through this team when they sucked but I'm prepared to make a change. And if Mike Tomlin wasn't in Pittsburgh and they weren't in disarray at the quarterback position and all the other positions, wide receiver, if Mike Tomlin was not in Pittsburgh, I, and people think, how could I do this? But easily. I don't even hate the Steelers like I used to, but I can't root for a team under the two religion guys so Michael G. Tomlin. I hate that guy. So I look at my free agent possibilities, but I will not root for this team if they hire Stefanski or Dayball. No. You better hire McDaniels or anybody else but Dayball and Stefanski. And you better hope if you don't hire McDaniels, it works out. Because if it don't, you're going to lose a lot of fans next year. And the player's are going to want out. What's that tell you when, you're, when, when Odell Beckham came to the place yesterday? He probably came in there and wanted to get in a meeting. And then obviously he doesn't know how the semantics works in fucking business. You probably got to get out of here. We don't need you here, this and that. But yeah, I guarantee you wanted McDaniels. And you probably just like, yeah, get out of here. Him and Landry will be gone. If you get Stefanski, trust me. So, take it for it's worth, Haslam. I know more about football than you. Quite frankly, I think my uh, cat knows more about football than you. Do the right thing. Offer McDaniels a job if he turns you down. Accept it on the cheek or accept it on the chin, knowing that you fucked up and didn't offer it when you should have. And sell the team, dumbass.